Spring is here, it's time to get onto the coho bite. Welcome back, Michael here, Shots to the Yacker. Today I'm gonna to share with you, as you get ready to go out here and chase these coho down, some of my best coho rig, dodger and fly combinations that produce for me better than anything else for the most part. Now, this is gonna cover this area of Lake Michigan from the Southern Basin down to Indiana, all the way up to the Southern end of Wisconsin waters. That's the areas that I typically fish, and I know that this works regularly in different parts of Lake Michigan that you might be fishing from further north across the across on the other side of Michigan this could be completely different or it may be worth you trying out in your area of Lake Michigan and see how it works for you so with that being said before I get into the Dodger fly combinations let's talk about the rod and reel setups uh, all new to me for this year I'm really really excited about this I've got the Akuma SST 710 Magnum taper rod uh, this is going to be the rod that I'm using in the spring and in the fall when I'm pulling cranks, uh, coho rigs for coho uh, in the fall for kings, this is going to be my heavy lifting rod uh, that I got. I got it paired up with an Akuma 153D. This is the smallest size Akuma that they make. It's all, it's all you really need. Don't need much more than that. These fish aren't taking that much line out. Uh, you don't have to worry. Against, you don't ever have to worry about getting spooled at all. So it's not an issue. And so I get a lower profile on this rod. It feels really, really good. 20 pound high vis braid is what I prefer. It could be a braid of choice. We've got all that to a bead, a small swivel, and then we've got soft steel, 20 pound fluorocarbon line, a leader. And I would say this is about uh, three and a half, maybe four feet of leader line. You don't want it any longer than that. Otherwise, it'll be an issue for you to try and land that fish uh, when there's too much leader line out in the water. And these are, are all new rods for the season. Uh, and what I can tell you about the rod itself, it feels so light. It's carbon handle, feels great, light. I'm really excited to get some fish catches on this rod. It's going to be a blast. So, if you don't have this rod, it's fine. If you want to get one, you can go down in the description, check it all out. Available at Lake Michigan Angler. You can also get it from my link uh, on my Amazon store. Um, that being said, if you're looking for a rod and reel combo, all you really need is a rod that is a medium action uh, and pair it up with a reel that allows you to get enough line. You want at least 300 yards of, uh, of a braid. Uh, you may or may not need backing on that. It depends on what you want to do. Uh, but that is plenty fine uh, for what you need for this purpose. Now, let's talk about the fun stuff. Dodgers and flies. Now, as I've fished year over year, I've noticed that certain combinations of flies with certain types of uh, dodgers just started to shine more than anything else. Now, everything that I have will catch fish. But I've noticed that there's just some combinations that just would do more damage. That being said, let's jump into it and share with you uh, two that for me are doing the brunt of the work for the spring coho. That's gonna be your standard orange, fire orange stubby dodger. And that is going to be your fire dot stubby dodger. Now, if you're not familiar with stubbies, these have become super hot in our area of Lake Michigan. Word has gotten out and they're starting to pick up momentum in other parts of Lake Michigan as word has gotten out. Most people are familiar with your double O Dodgers. These are pretty small, six inches, kind of uh, thin, actually noticeably thin, thinner than the stubbies. And the main difference here is that these stubbies with the wider uh, uh, profile, it's going to really catch more of that water and it's going to have more action. So it gives the fly a much more aggressive action compared to the double O's. Now, these are standard. These will always catch fish, 100%. However, there are some days where they want that more aggressive action on the fly, and the stubbies will outshine them. So it's best to have a few of each. You can't go wrong. And really let the, let the fish dictate for you on that day out what they want. Put one of these double O's out, put a stubby out, and see which one starts getting more action and tension. And once you kind of figure that out, then swap the other rod out and go ahead and increase your fish catching opportunities by putting that, that setup out there. Um, all you really need, again, is fire dot and then the straight orange on, honestly, most times. That's all you really need. Um, so at minimum, you want that. Now, when it comes to pairing these uh, stubbies, I have found that a blue Liz fly is available at Lake Michigan Angler. It's just got blue gold and, and some uh, white, for lack of a better word, mixed into it. It's a very simple fly, but for whatever reason, the fire orange stubby and the blue Liz fly did wonders last year and the year before. And this blue Liz lives on this Dodger for me. It does not go anywhere. If it breaks, I put another blue Liz on here. It is 
blue Liz dedicated for sure. The other uh, fly that, again, does a lot of damage uh, is going to be the seven up fly. This is again, another fly available at Lake Michigan angler. Uh, I've been using it for a few years now and I've used it on a couple different colors. I've used it on the fire orange or whatever, but for whatever reason on the fire dot stubby uh, or the fire dot color in general, the seven up again, does so much damage. Uh, you know, again, there were days where um, I'd have both of these out and the fish might want one over the other, but when they do, I'd catch the brunt of my limit on one or the other. Now, I don't know all the recipes or how these are all done, but the color wise, it's, it's just a green chartreuse and some mirage in there, I believe. Uh, but again, it's an essential. The 7-Up Fly has done so much damage in the last few years since it's been available. Um, those two right there alone, you could probably end this video and just walk out, go get that set up, go out and troll and, and have very good days on the water. Let's dive a little bit deeper though, because there are other flies and other uh, styles of Dodgers. Now, uh, I'm gonna pull this out. Here's my little fly board for my two inch slider flies that I use in the spring. And I will use those in the summer, but we'll talk about that in a separate video. Um, some of the other Dodgers that I like uh, are gonna be, sometimes they might always want the Dodgers, uh, the stubby or the double O. And in that case, one of my go-tos are gonna be our baby spin doctors. And these are the only two that I've found for me, produce the best. Straight, just straight orange. There's no tape on it. It's just a straight orange baby spin doctor. Does wonders, it really does. And remember, this is rotating very differently from what the stubby or the doubles are doing as they wobble. This thing's rotating in the water. So it presents a different action to that fly, which can get a uh, bit when, for whatever reason, they're not targeting or actively on your other Dodgers. Uh, again, this one has been good to go uh, and then the fire dot version of that again there's no tape on this they're pretty plain and boring looking compared to something else but these just are effective and especially when you're in that water um, for instance if you're in the southern basin there tends to be mud lines when you're fishing out of portage or a michigan city where you got the rivers flowing into the uh into the lake and all that stuff or maybe you're fishing when the water has been a little uh, stained up near shore you're fishing shallow and it's a little little uh, uh, stained or whatever these flat finishes really poke out and present well in that off color water also want to take a minute to share with you a very exclusive stubby that we've got our hands on and I've got my hands on as well which is you look at it here it looks like fire dot but when I turn it around it is the orange flat orange this is the first exclusive available Lake Michigan angler uh, it's double-sided and so you essentially uh, take one of these out of the equation you get the most of both the best of both worlds in one in one uh, Dodger one stubby right here so um, these are brand new to me we haven't got these on the water yet but I suspect that this is gonna be fantastic and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how it how the fish respond to this um, especially comparing it to what these flies do because now I have to think do I want to put blue Liz because of the, of the orange or do I want to put the seven up because of this uh, fire dot? Uh, so we'll experiment with that and I hope to share with you some results uh, as the spring season progresses and all that stuff. But these are out as well and these are super cool. And then we've got this guy here, which is coho killer on a stubby. And this is really, really nice. Um, I like these, especially when the days, because you've got the UV on here, on those days where it's just clear water and sun is shining, that UV really goes a long way in flashing out and just catching their eyes from a distance. So for me, I tend to run these in that real, real clear water, sunny days. Uh, I really like this guy a lot. In most other times I've noticed in spring, the water is a little stirred up because of the winds. Uh, the fish will be around, but the water isn't ideal. So that's why I like these flat finishes that don't have like a UV on them uh, because they just present well in that, in, the, uh, in that murkier water. And then again, when it is sunny and the water is pristine clear, I will also break out just the straight chrome prism front. Again, I've had real good success on this last season. In fact, I actually used a squid behind this and caught some fish, it was pretty cool. Um, but you can pair this with pretty much any fly uh, this thing is just a fish attracting monster because of the flash. The flash, the chrome, the I'm sure you're probably seeing some of this on the camera, the prism tape. So when it's really, really clear, 
uh, conditions, water clarity. Don't be afraid to put that bright, uh, that obnoxious, shining uh, uh, Dodger out there uh, as well. Now, as we continue to talk about flies here, uh, my little board here, you'll notice that there's not a huge deviation of colors that I have here. And a lot of it is going to be blues and greens, and they have some darker colors mixed in here. But a lot of my fishing revolves around the 7-Up Fly, which is what I talked about that's on this Dodger here. Uh, the Blue Liz as well, which is the blue. So they're mixed in here on the board. I also really like Blue Green Gold. Blue Green Gold is such a fantastic color. That's probably my number three uh, uh, fly of choice in the spring for these coho behind any one of these dollars, uh, Dodgers. I'll mix and match it to see kind of what's going on. But a blue green gold is so good. Spring, you can even go into the summer with it, uh, but it's also on the board as well. Uh, another one, once these flies, and you know it because you're out there and you start to see the flies popping up on you and biting you and all that stuff. Once we get into that time of period, late spring, maybe getting into early summer, where the flies are populating out there, I start to run darker colors i got purples in here mardi gras is a great color where you've got purple green and gold um, you've got cop car which is just basically a black and white in here um, i start to go to some darker colors because those fish will start feeding on those flies flies are dark colored so we'll actually start to match the hatch if you will and get some dark colors another fantastic fly color to have is going to be your next gen and i've got this guy over here on the end of our board um, this is another one available at Lake Michigan Angler that will do damage not only in the spring but throughout the entire year. Uh, fantastic fly to have in your arsenal. You can honestly just have those and be fine. There's so many other colors out there and yes, they do work. But if I were to say you have to focus on just a handful of colors, keep it simple uh, and just attach them to various different colored dodgers and try out, see what combination works better for you. These are the ones that I can recommend and that will will produce for you because I know they produce for me and for many others as well. So it's worth checking out and hopefully you guys found this video uh, useful and helpful to you. If you have any other questions about coho rigs, setups, colors, combinations, feel free to ask down below in the comments section. If you need any of the gear, check down in the description, get my fishing reports on my Patreon while you support, join my community Discord server. All the information, as I said, is down below in the description. Check it all out. Thank you guys for uh, checking out the video. Best of luck out there on the water, tight lines, and I'll see you guys in the next video.